Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. Tony Khan has made a lot of announcements since creating All Elite Wrestling. He says the biggest one yet could come at any time. Khan has sounded optimistic for a while regarding his company's upcoming media rights. This has become the Iran attack on Israel of television deals. He has stressed in recent weeks that AEW is, quote, on the verge of the deal being announced. When speaking to TV Insider recently, Khan said multiple announcements will be made shortly as there are multiple aspects to the deal. He says it is a very exciting time in AEW for many reasons. We're days away from AEW All In on August 25th. Most important and exciting time in AEW's history. In addition to what is happening in the ring, which I would not say is the most important and exciting time in AEW's history. There are so many exciting things happening behind the scenes in AEW on the verge of the most important announcements in the history of AEW, multiple aspects. The arrival of these announcements is imminent. We will have big news that could come at any time. Isn't that the best kind of wrestling surprise when you know something is coming and you want it and it's exciting, but you're not sure when it's going to happen? You have the feeling it's going to happen. In this case, I have more than a feeling, to paraphrase Boston. I've been working on this for a long time. We have a great team here. The future of AEW is very bright. AEW could announce a new international stadium show. A report from Sporting News Australia, released on Wednesday, states that AEW has had well-advanced talks with venues in the country regarding running a major stadium show there. Sydney's mayor, or uh, I guess their uh, their Lions Stadium, Marvel Stadium, and Suncorp Stadium in Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane have all been discussed. No Adelaide? Well, here's what I can tell you, folks. Okay? That's what I can tell you. A TV deal announcement is coming soon. I know that's not breaking news, but, like, there has to be one because their deal's almost up, and they got to sign a new one. So I can tell you, factually, news is coming soon. I don't know what it's going to be. I've made my prediction long ago. I predict they will get 1.4 times what they're getting now, which is which is very good. But, of course, everyone will say that that's very bad because that's how things work. But it's good if they got 1.4 times. You know what the other problem is? Hold on. Nobody's going to be able to prove it if nobody says anything. Then, I would assume that the deadlines of the world, that the entertainment business reporters of the world may get that information. But really, with it being a private company, there's we we're will gonna not find know. Out. We're going to find out. Now, the other thing is there are other announcements that have nothing to do with television. And I can tell you that those what are about also... Stadiums? Very likely coming quite imminently. How about that? No. Quite imminently. How imminent is it? Now, I did hear, because uh, the rumors came out about Australia today, and I can tell you that they are they are talking to, to people in Australia. That is that is for sure. I don't know what the... I don't know where they're going to go, what they're going to do, but th- this, is, this is like something that's in the works. And somebody from uh, on my... Twitter, in fact, said, uh, you know, if this is true, they want to they want to talk to me about it because uh, not confident in this Australia deal because the number of weekly viewers for AEW in Australia is not big, as in uh, significantly fewer than are going to Wembley right now. So anyway, I'm going to talk to this guy and find out what he has to say. But uh, he's out there, and he's not confident that uh, an Australian stadium show would be a great idea. But we'll uh, we'll see what he has to say here. Man, it's Tony Storm that uh, big, and I'm trying to think who else. You know, you would need Japanese participation. But yeah, I mean, unless you got a great deal on something, that's an interesting move to make since you don't have a. Again, who's your biggest Australian star, Tony Storm, and do you need a stadium for that? I don't know. Maddie Western Australia here. That's his actual handle. Maddie Western Australia reckons that it would be a terrible idea. But we'll see. What does he know? He's on the western end. They're looking at the eastern end. Well, who knows? I mean, <laughs> you know, you're going to draw from all of Australia would be the idea, I would think. Well, yeah, but, you know, again, it, it that seems uh, 
That seems interesting. Again, if you get some sort of great tax break, you get some sort of great deal and you get some backing or, or some I don't know. I have no idea, but it was it's a surprise to hear that. It really is. Unless they again they can tie it in with something with Japan. So yeah, sporting news out of Australia has mentioned those stadiums. They've never run Australia before. WWE did run Elimination Chamber in Perth and drew uh, over 50,000. And they also drew almost uh, around 70,000 for the Super Showdown in Melbourne in October 2018. So uh, WWE is drawn there. They have definitely drawn there. Then we've got uh, Penta. He went on his... uh, he went on his Twitter. He said that it was fake news, a report claiming he would be in Orlando, Florida this week. I had not heard that rumor, so don't look at me. Hadn't even heard it, much less reported it. But he did say, no more gossip. My present is AEW. Well, that's true. Yeah. That I can tell you one thing for sure. His present is AEW. I don't think he cleaned anything up there. No, he really didn't. Well, he cleaned up that he's not going to be in Orlando. Whoever, so. whoever reported that. It says, uh, New Era Wrestling in El Paso also announced Phoenix would miss September 27th event due to, quote, personal circumstances. So uh, we'll see what happens. Nothing is official until it's official. But uh, And I also saw, by the way, you know one of those stories that takes the things that I say and writes a story about it? Yes. Uh, one of the stories was like uh, Brian Alvarez reports that people in WWE expect uh, Penta and AEW. I never said that, not once. I said people in AEW. There's a big difference. People in WWE may as well, but I mean, the people I heard from were from AEW, and they were like, I think they're out of here. So we shall see. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. Well, I'll have more from Australia here in a while, but uh, Maddie here, Maddie Western Australia says, Nobody knows much about AEW here. They need to get on free-to-air TV here, and then a nice long-term story to build over the next year, maybe involving New Japan, and then come to Australia in 2026. Why are they doing this? Well, you know, WWE did big business there. Who cares? Go to Hawaii. Hawaii? Yeah. be freaking expensive. At least you're on TV there. Well, you are on TV The there. flights won't be as bad. You can at least get New Japan guys to come over and meet them halfway. It is amazing I mean, how rarely people run Hawaii. Well, I mean, if I had a promotion, that's the only place I'd run. Well, yeah, but you'd have to live there and you'd have to make no money exactly. most of the time. That's the problem. But you living there, hey, look, that's why a lot of guys love going there. They didn't make a ton of money, but the fact you got to be on the beach, you got to run a couple of days a week, and you got to be on that beach. It's really all that matters. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.